What's going on YouTube? Welcome back or to the channel. Today we got a special one. We're gonna be paint, we're gonna paint to match the F-150 badges on the side of the truck. Uh, disclaimer, by no means am I a painter or I don't even know what the hell I'm doing. We're just gonna try some stuff. Uh, try and save a little bit of money. So guys, this is everything you would need to paint. You can go to your local O'Reilly, Advance, Auto Parts or uh, AutoZone or whatever or even Napa um, and pick up some of this dupli color, color perfect match um, obviously you see right here these are for four colors um, so I got the primer the color I have my truck is magnetic gray and here's your clear coat and obviously you're gonna need to some pry tools um, to get it out with as well so yeah and get your fishing line Help try and get all the glue and the dirt, not dirt, but the glue and stuff off. But yeah, let's get right on to it. Yeah, what you want to try and do is get this fishing line up in there. I'm gonna have to set this down somewhere. They can break up all the glue and stuff. Just kind of go in and out. Got one side off. Gotta clean up this residue on there. Um, I gotta get this side off now. The thing, the trick to it is, man, you see where I got the uh, pry tool at down in there. It's a little pin right there, and you got the pin on here. So if you could pinch that, make it close in, and then use the pry tool to kind of pull it just a little bit, it'll come right out. So now I just got to get the rest of it through, right down through here. And if you have to, spray some WD-40 in there, and it'll help break up some of that glue. And this one, they offered this one. So yeah, next what we're gonna do, we're gonna sand this thing up. We're gonna take this part right here off. We're gonna take this part right here off. And uh, we're gonna sand both of them up, sand them pretty good. And then we're gonna put, spray the primer on there. And then the magnetic gray color. But first, let me go ahead and get the rest of this glue off the rest of the truck, get off the truck. Um, but from, so far from what I've read, what I've watched on YouTube, it's all in the prep work. I'm gonna clean it off, then I'm gonna sand it, and then I'm gonna spray the primer. Got the back cleaned up as much as I could. Um, now, we're just gonna sand it. Sand it and take some of the pieces off. This piece right here come off, so we're gonna take that off sand it down then prime it and then we'll probably do the first coat of the magnetic gray tomorrow so what i'm about to try and do is paint the black trim around it blue and so what you want to do to try and get these off you want to try and take these little rivets out you can use a flathead screwdriver and you can get it out like that all right so boom y'all see i took the black trim off at the back of the f-150 badge um I got all of them. Well, I see I want to sand this up just a little bit. Not necessarily sand it, but I'm going to do it anyway. Sand it up, sand the trim, set mainly the outside of it, sand the outside of it up a little bit. Um, I'm going to put tape around this part here. And uh, yeah, I'm going to try and paint it, see if we can get it to match the truck. I just masked up this um, chrome part of the F-150 badge. Um, so I'm going to paint the lariat part blue. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to mask that up real quick. Make sure I got it covered up pretty good. Because the rest of it is going to be gray. Yeah, well, the magnetic gray to match the truck. So, and so far I just did a little plate. Put the base coat of the anodized um, metal cast base coat on there. That's how it looks. So this blue is gonna be like a transparent blue, kind of like what my powder coat is on the lift. Damn, you can't really see that. Let's see. So yeah, the blue is basically like a transparent blue. Uh, my powder coat on my lift is an illusion blue color, so um, this is pretty much gonna serve almost as the same and get the same look. Um, 
So it got like a little chrome look right now. When I spray the blue on there, it's gonna go blue. It's probably about the third coat, maybe. Yeah, it's about the third coat of this. Um, as soon as this is dry, we're gonna go ahead and start hitting this one. So all you have to do then is pop this piece in here. You just pop it right on, put it on top. And you see it went on there pretty good. I think I'm going to end up clear coating this all to get, once it's all together. Um, and then for this, all you do is snap this piece on. Uh, so yeah, this is how it ended up. So it came out pretty good uh, for me to do. I still have to, I actually haven't put the 3M tape on the back yet. So I, yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. I just put it on there for the time being. So I still got to do that. Um, yeah, put the double-sided tape on there. But um, I think it came out pretty good for my first time doing this. I did chip some of the paint. Me being me, <laughs> trying to do too much. I chipped some of it, but um, uh, it's not as very smooth paint. As you can see, it's not that smooth because I did a lot of coats. Because one thing I realized, though, spray this stuff in the sun. It do a lot better in the sun. I was spraying it in the shade because it was so hot that day. I was trying to not be out in the sun and everything and tripping. Um, and I have been working, I made these videos over a span of day, different days. So, um, cause I was busy doing other stuff, trying to do too much all in one day. So did everything over a couple days, but yeah. Um, like I said, I'm pretty satisfied with it, but yeah, man, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll catch y'all on the next video.